All right, man. What's up? What's up, Troy? Well Connected Wednesday, Streets 108. It's your boy, St. James. How you doing tonight? I'm doing great, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So look, man, I got you on the line. It's a snowy night. It's cold out there, so I know the listeners is, is, is close to their speakers right now, close to they got their cell phones near them. But um, wanted to talk to you about the event this weekend. You got a, uh, a big event going on in Chicago for All-Star Weekend. So first, before we get into that, want you to have you introduce yourself first. My name is T. Julian Gibson, and uh, most people call me Julian. I've um, been in the entertainment industry for over 15 years. Um, I'm an advertising and marketing executive by trade, um, but I work with um, a number of celebrities in music, film, fashion, and sports um, as a booking agent, as a marketing agent, and uh, putting together their events across the country. That's what it do. That's what it do, man. So a lot of people don't know. I want to I wanna have you talk a little bit about this first. A lot of people don't know, you know, uh, what goes on in the background. I mean, you know, we see the stars. We see all of, you know, we see all of the glitz and glamour. But talk a little bit about the hard work it takes behind the scenes and some of the things, you know, that, you, that you've had some experience with that. Well, I can tell you that most people, whether they're in music or film or, you know, even producers, um, whether they're film producers or music producers, um, they knew that's what they wanted to do, you know, when they were, when they were kids. And they'd been, they'd been really grinding it out uh, in a number of ways. And the only way that um, you can tell the great ones, one thing I found is in common with all of them is they failed so many times before they succeeded. So um, what they did, though, is they failed forward. Like Will Smith, uh, I met Will Smith through Lisa Ray, and he told me, I was on the set of Warner Brothers, she was filming her show, All of Us, and he said, man, whatever you're going to try, man, do it. He said, just, just, just do it. All you're going to do is learn, because, you know, like my grandfather had told me, he said, if you don't, you can't even fail if you never try, and you haven't failed unless you quit. So, you know, when I thought about that, that's what I saw, you know, behind the scenes with a lot. And, and, and by the way, to everybody listening out there, nothing is the way that it seems. Your favorite, your favorite artists don't have what you think they have. This Everything is... you see on TV is not real, man. <laughs> they showing, they showing us tape stuff, man, and saying that it's live. They, they're, they're orchestrating virtual life and then showing it and saying it's news. And that's real talk. That's real talk. That's real talk, man. So, um, real quick, also want to ask you as a as an advertising and marketing executive and, and working across a lot of different spaces, um, what have you, what have you found to be the toughest when dealing with the culture in regards to taking it to corporations or taking it to to big business? What are, what are some of the things that you found you know that were successful or were also tough? Well, I think you know what's tough is um, even getting you know, even getting to the table. Um, a lot of times, you know, everybody wants to eat, but they can't even get to the table. So it takes a lot of finesse. Right. Um, a, a lot of times you'll reach out uh, to someone and, you know, they'll, they'll cut you off and you think, oh, he's a hater, he ain't on my team, he ain't really trying to help me. You gotta help yourself by going to 10 other people. You know, when I, when I roll wherever I, you know, if I'm in Dubai, if I'm in LA, or if I'm in Louisville, Kentucky, I guess what? The doorman, the valet, the the Uber driver, the limo driver, or the local celebrity thought, 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 they got more <laughs> information than you will ever know. Right. You know what I mean? About what's what and what's happening. So a lot of times, you know, you have to go that route. Um, and then, you know, it, it's tough to get to the table because most corporate Americans, um, when they look at minorities, they, um, if they're not, you know, a lot, I'm not saying everybody's racist, but they do have some prejudice. So they have some preconceived ideas about what they think you're going to do right. or what you're not going to do. Right. So what I try to do is I go in and I'm the exact opposite. Right. If they think I'm going to be late, I show up 20 minutes, 30 minutes early on purpose. Right. They think that. I mean, guess what? I'm not always on time. But if, I, <laughs> if I'm going to one of them meetings, I do it on purpose. You know what I mean? Right, right. Um, so those are some of the things that I found out. And it is tough getting to the table for women and, and minorities. But there's always a way 
you know, to do that, and you have to look at it from so many angles. You, you, I'm gonna tell you, the common angle is never the way to go, too, because everybody's doing the common thing. It's like with music, it's everybody, you know, somebody hits, uh, you know, the baby is, you know, what's happening right now. They're, you know, he'll next thing you know, there'll be 20 other people trying to be like him when they should just be themselves. So, right. Um, well, speaking more specifically, um, know you're working on a lot of things right now. Um, before we get into this this big all star extravaganza, what are some of the other things that you got in the works? Um, so you know, I'm working on a number of different things. I do something called Circle of Sisters in uh, the Jacob Javits Center in New York City. Um, I'm involved with the Pan Pan African Film Festival as well as the Hollywood Black Film Festival. Um, I'm helping Indiana Black Expo for their 50th anniversary. Uh, my mother's uncle, Jim Cummings, is the original founder of Indiana Black Expo. Wow. A lot of people in Indianapolis and around the Midwest think Charles Williams is the man. And he is the man. He, he took it to another level, but he wasn't the founder. Right. Um, so I'm working on that. And then um, I'm working on a talent. I formed an association called the Talent Republic that's launching and uh, what we're going to do is we're going we're to be filming at the Radio One studios in Indianapolis, um, you know, every other week. And then that show is going to be on Channel 8 in Indianapolis and it's also going to be on uh, B- BET's regional cable. Those what? are some of the things I'm working on. Wow. So, so working on a, working on a, a, a larger scale, um, putting some content on BET and then it, it, is that Channel 8? Is that Wish TV? Yeah, so um, there is um, a black CEO and multimillionaire, um, Byron Allen, who is uh, huge in television, yeah. um, right behind Bob Johnson. He's on his way to being a billionaire. He probably got $800 million. He purchased um, some TV studios from uh, a gentleman by the name of Mr. McCoy, who yeah. owns Channel 8. The one. Yeah. yeah, he's black. And so when he purchased that, you know, not only did it take him to another level, but he had already been balling, you know, in other parts of the country. And he bought Channel 8. He's about to take Channel 8 um, and make sure that there's partners and viewership throughout the state of Indiana. But he still is going to be doing his other stuff, you know, in New Orleans and things like that. Mm-hmm. So um, from a behind the scenes, you know, look, um, you know, that's what's going on. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So let's talk a little bit about the main event, man. Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, February 16th. Chicago, Illinois. Chi-Town stand up. We're doing something at the, um, the Ivy, man. And the Ivy is about four years old. It's an incredible event center. It's two levels. Um, you know, you have to be a baller or VIP or somebody with some money in order to one of the three in order to, to even do an event here um hillary clinton and a number of people have done their events in chicago um a lot of ceos and you know financial people and things like that when they when their daughters get married they they have to, this is where they do it so um it's an incredible place <laughs> um, i have a relative through my wife his name is chef michael bonner Michael Bonner is a minority chef that owns 17 restaurants. Wow, that's, um, he, that's crazy. He's one of those guys that's behind the scenes, you know what I mean? But he's well-connected. Absolutely, <laughs> well-connected. Uh, and, so, and so he's, he, you know, he's, so he's got three um, restaurants uh, in Chi-Town, um, and Perifino's is going to be the place on Saturday night because we, we're going in. I'm, I'm letting Lisa Ray, uh, you know, eat with us and the family there. i am invited her. And then Sunday... Doors open at 11. Originally, this started as she's from Chi Town. So I said, Lisa, Lisa Ray, we got to do something together. We've been working together 17 years. We got to do something. Um, and she said, Well, I don't want to do no party at night. You know, I don't want to be out at four in the morning. So I said, Let's do a sexy brunch. So we're doing a brunch. It's a day party and it's a modeling uh, showcase to showcase her dreams. Okay. Um, so that's how that's going to go down. Absolutely. So she, uh, with the modeling piece, is that something that she, you know, is, is pursuing? I know that she has a clothing line um, that she's going to be debuting as well. But um, is the modeling something that she's looking to really, you know, I know she's been a part of it for a while. But as far as like ownership and, and putting out other models, kind of what's the goal, goal there? Yeah, the goal is, so um, we handpicked some models to be on the show. Um, we're, on that day, we're doing a show at 1.30 and 3.30. We're doing a tribute to Kobe Bryant. She knew Vanessa and Kobe. 
Yeah. And um, so we're, we're doing that. And when she's doing it, Lisa Ray is a businesswoman. So in between making films, you know, she's making moves. Right. She's in the she's in the real estate. Took the real estate money and bought a company. And the company was PZI Jeans in Atlanta. Right. She bought the whole company. Um, and she was revamping the the jeans they used to do. You know, they were in her signature color, white. Right. She said, "Hey, I need some more colors. I'm gonna put some rips, some tears. I'm gonna put some diamonds on the side." Like she redid the jeans. Yeah. And she said, "Now I gotta put together a website." You know, to compete with Fashion Nova, I gotta have different models on the web on the website. Right. I have, to have you know the Billboard campaign. Um, when we do Vegas and uh, Philly and and Chicago this summer, we have to make sure that we have models. So we're looking for models. So any of the women that attend this event, they automatically can be a part of the model search for 2020, okay. and they get a free a free headshot. So okay. We're giving everybody a free headshot. Okay, okay. Now, I heard there's going to be some ballers in the building. Now, it's All-Star Weekend, baby. All-Star Weekend. So, you know, you know how it goes down. So, um, she's the type of person that Black Hollywood, you know, everybody loves her. Uh, she's a part of our culture. You know, she was in Tupac's last video. And Ice Cube saw her. And, you know, he put her in the movie. Uh, players club and then his career blew up and her career blew up because she was a great first time actress it was believable and everybody saw that movie but it didn't define her right uh, you know will smith then picked her up and put her on tv and all of us she did single ladies on v vh1 and um you know she kept it moving and as she as she kept taking the next step she always was putting the money aside you know her father and her father told her straight up, he said, listen, always keep a meal to the side. So she's always done that. So she bought the company and said, you know, this is how I'm moving forward right now. I'm going to have an online business. And, um, you know, uh, she just she's completed two new recent films. And when she whenever she does something, what she'll do is say, hey, I just touched down in Chi-Town. And some of her good friends, like, you know, Dwayne Wade, uh, Gabrielle Union are good friends of hers. Um, you know, Vivica Fox, Tiffany Haddish, uh, Gary Payton, Shaq, uh, Scotty Pippen. So she told all of them, you know, D Rowe, all of them are, you know, she's cool with. Right. So, a uh, common Kanye. So she told all of them she's having this event. Now, if they all show up, it's going to be pandemonium. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be I'm our pandemonium. Is it, but, but, but if two of them show up, we're going to give you something that ain't nobody never seen because Lisa Ray is a type that's real up close and personal. Right. And, um, you know, she loves to take pictures with everybody and all that. Right. And she's always looking for discoveries because I told her I got a Def Jam that's going to be in the building, you know, thanks to you and Matt. We got Doe. Doe called me today and said, you know, somebody else is coming. I got an Atlantic uh, Records uh, Universal rap that's been hitting me and so you know we got those kinds of people that are going to be in the room so it's going to be a good place to network it's a good place for couples let me, let me break this down if couples on a valentine weekend this is a place where a man can take his woman you know and, and if she don't understand ball she don't follow basketball that's fine right. this is going to be a great a great place um if it's a situation where you're a model you need to come out and then you know it's, it's so many women that have bought tickets like in fours and fives yeah fellas you need to come through here <laughs> <laughs> say fellas y'all need y'all definitely need to pull up need to come through because it ain't it's daytime you're gonna be over the sea ain't no lights off it ain't you know you're gonna and and you got you know out of the women that are gonna be there out of the 250 women you know, a hundred of them are models. What more can you ask for? No, absolutely, absolutely. So I heard that there were only 33 tickets left. Yeah, so here's what we did. It's 33 left, and um, but I still have some VIP meet and greets. I got 10 of those, and I also reserved, um, I got two six-top tables, too. So it's on Eventbrite. If you don't know nothing about Eventbrite, you don't feel like looking it up, just Google Lisa Ray NBA. And her name is spelled R-A-Y-E. And if you look at Lisa Ray NBA, it'll come up. You click on the link and, um, you know, you'll be able to get in. So we got we got a little, you know, a couple of more seats. A little wiggle room. A little wiggle room yeah. left. Yeah, yeah. 
Got you, got you. Wait, well, hey, man, look, Troy, I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate you calling in, giving us the lowdown. Uh, also, I want to say, man, I appreciate you rocking with us over the years. Definitely been a supporter of ours since day one, so we definitely want to make sure that we reached out and, and got you on the air and, and, and let the people know what you got going on. You know, we really appreciate the support. Yeah, I'm Julian Gibson on Instagram. It's G-I-P-S-O-N. Lisa Ray is the real L. Ray one. The real L. Ray one. Um, if you want to follow us, and um, I've always rocked with you and your hustle, St. James, and, uh, you know, congratulations. I've known you for 15 years now, and in the beginning, I was behind y'all. Always remember that. Always, man. I appreciate it, man, and we'll never forget that. So, um, look, man. We gonna get back to the music, man, in Streets 108. Man, you talking to the whole world right now. You talking to 1037 The Beat in Chicago. You talking to Streets 108 in East LA and, and, and Northeast Atlanta. So uh, we, got you, we got you covered out here, big dog. We appreciate it, man. All right, man, I appreciate it. Y'all take care. Already. All right, late. What? All right, man, y'all heard it first. It's my man, Julian Gibson. Calling in, talking about the event, All-Star Weekend. Go to our Instagram. We got the flyer up. You can click on the link on the flyer to get your tickets. Right here, Well Connected Wednesday, Streets 108, 1037 The Beat. We'll be right back. Holla. <laughs> 